Well, I'm now absolutely delighted to be joined by Professors Hoke Pullen and Ling Miao, who've got a new venture to talk to us about. Welcome. Thank you for giving us a chance. So Physical Review X, what is it? So Physical Review X is a new journal that covers all areas of physics. It's an open access journal, which means that after a manuscript is accepted, the author pays a publication charge, and then a manuscript can be read for free without paying any subscriptions. Now, there have been other open access journals in science in, in the past, but Physical Review X is novel in the sense that it's targeting the top quality papers in physics. We want it to be one of the top tier journals in physics. Now, you talk about exceptional research. How do you define exceptional research, and how do you go about looking for it? Yeah, uh, to our mind, uh, exceptional comes in different flavors. So, a paper can be exceptional in conceptual creativity, and technical ingenuity, uh, that means opening up new research grounds or new possibilities that didn't exist before. So that's the, uh, the best type. And also there are papers that are exceptional in terms of substance, in a sense they may solve a problem, long-standing problem in a field that has broad implications, or they can just add so much new understanding and knowledge to an already existing topic. And also there are papers that are special in the sense that they relate to a number of physics subfields, not just one, uh, interdisciplinary in our jargon. So um, those are the ones we also really welcome. That's sort of exceptional. It's of course partly our effort and also the crucial part of the effort is to depend on expert referees. So uh, in doing that we actually try to keep ourselves aware of what has happened in a field, what's still going on in general. And uh, when we have a paper in hand, actually all of us read the paper and we discuss with each other. And if we have doubts, we also consult our editorial board members. And we do read literatures quickly and just to assess how much has been done, so have a context. And then we come to a quick initial decision. Some papers actually get rejected right away and some we decide to send out to experts for review. But when we do that step, we also actually give the referees, experts, a number of questions that we have in mind that we want them to address to tell us why this paper is exceptional, in what concrete ways. And then when we have reports back based on which we should make decision, if something is not clear, the referee said, oh, just publish or reject, we're not happy with that. Mm. So we often go back to the referee, say, explain to us why do you make, why have you made this recommendation? So there are many steps along the way right. that we do to make sure that we select the best papers. What would you say are the strengths of Physical Review X? Well, the short version, I would mm. say, is highly selective standards applied on the basis of high editorial, high quality editorial work and right. high quality expert reviews. Right. And the second thing is free access, what I just mentioned, right. that the journal is open access. And also what I call personally, uh, it's a multi-level delivery of our content. Okay. So that's the short version. And what about the future? So physical reworks at the moment is fairly small. We're right. trying to keep quality very high. We accept less than one out of five manuscripts we receive. We're publishing about six to eight manuscripts a month. And we want, we'd like that to grow a little bit. Um, also, open access is unevenly embraced in different subdisciplines in physics. We think that by keeping the quality very high, we'll break some barriers and bring into the fold people who are not participating in open access right now. So these are our future goals. Anyway, excited about the future for the for the for Physical Review X? Oh uh, yes, absolutely, because this is a sort of new enterprise for APS, and uh, the fact it's online only. Uh, that it moves away from the traditional print version gives us a lot of opportunities actually to experiment with new ways of delivering the content. Uh, I'm extremely excited about the future. Well, that's fantastic. And, uh, you know, my personal view and that of many is that open access is the future of publishing. Thank you both very much indeed for joining us today on APST. Thank you. Thank you.